let us draw this exercise. In here, we have 100 by 100 centimeter. So let us create a line with a measurement of 100 by 100. First, I'm going to click on the line. The command line is asking for the first point. So I'm going to click here. And then the command line is asking for the next point. To make sure that I will create a straight line, I'm going to turn on our ortho mode. Okay, so by turning on the ortho mode, we can only create horizontal and vertical line. So I'm going to input 100 now for our measurement. Then enter. Next, we will create another line here. So click here, type 100, and then enter again. Next, let us create another line here. So click here, 100, double enter. Next, click here, and then type 100 again, then double enter. An alternative way to draw this figure is by using our polygon. So, if you want to use a polygon, you can do so. Let me illustrate it. So, you can click on the polygon. Let us specify the first corner point of our polygon, power rectangle. So, let's say I'm going to click here. And then, let us choose dimension. It is asking for the length of our rectangle. Let us type 100, enter, and then let us specify the width of our rectangle. Let us type 100 again, enter. Then let us click on this side. As you can see, we have the same figure. So you can use either method here. Next. Let's, let us create these lines. So I'm going to click on the line. So click here. We have a 10 centimeter going down. So I'm going to type 10. Enter. Drag your cursor here. Let us type 100. Or you can just click here. Let me type 100 instead. Next, let us use the offset tool. So I'm going to click on the offset. The AutoCAD is asking for the offset distance. We have 10 as the offset distance here. So let us type 10. Enter. So I'm going to select on the object. I'm going to select on the line. Enter. Right. Just click on this side. We can still use the offset function as you can see on the command line so just click on the line and then click here you do the same until you finish the required number of lines okay next let us draw this line so we have a distance of 10 centimeter also so i'm gonna click on the line Click here. So let us use 10 centimeter. Okay. So drag your mouse downward and then type 10 centimeter. That's it. Next, we have 20 centimeter here. So I'm going to click on the line. Click on this endpoint. And then let us drag your mouse to the right. Uh, and then let us type 20 and then double enter okay so we have a 20 centimeter now here you click on the end point okay so make sure that our object snap is turned on so that we can see the end point if you want to check the setting of your object snap you can click here and then this is the setting of my object snap our lines will snap, will snap on the following. Okay, going back here, so I'm going to click on the line. 
look at the end point of our 20 centimeters. So click here and then drag your mouse downward and then type 10. Enter. That's it. We can now use offset on this line. So I'm going to click offset and the offset distance is 20 centimeters. So let us type 20. Enter. So click on the line and then click on the right side of the original line. I click again, click on the right side. That's it. Next, let us create the lines here. So I'm going to use line again. So click on this point. Drag your mouse to the right. We have 20 centimeters. So type 20, enter. Then drag your mouse downward. You type 10 centimeter. That's it. We can use the offset function again. So we have offset here. Click. Let us specify the offset distance. We have 20. Enter. Click on the line. Then click on the right side of the line. That's it. We now have our first line here and second line. As you can see, the pattern is repeating for the rest of the lines here. So let us just use copy. So this is the symbol for copy. So I'm going to click on copy. Select object to copy. So let us select these lines. Specify the base point. This is the base point. So click here. Specify the second point where we will copy our lines. So this is the second point. Click here. Next base point. Click here. Next base point is here. So click here. And the next base point is here. So another click here. That's it. We can now use escape so that is how we create this exercise if we want to check our dimension so we can go here so i will choose a line okay i'm gonna click here and then click on this point you will see that we have 10 cm here. Okay, let us measure the succeeding point. So click here, then another click. And we have 20 cm. Let us check the dimension of this line. Okay, we have 100 cm. This is 10 cm. Then this is 100 cm. That's it. That is how we do this exercise.